Did you hear what Jocelyn just called me? Trina's a lightweight when it comes to alcohol and somehow that makes me a manipulative bitch? Oh no, wasn't I clear? You've always been a bitch from the moment you got into town. Playing that stupid drinking game was just your latest way of proving it. Okay, I think it's settled. The bar is closed for tonight. No more alcohol for any of us. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna let Esme blame alcohol for what happened here tonight. You're jealous of his friendship with Trina, so you deliberately set out to humiliate her by dredging up the past. Trina ran out of here in tears, but I'm guessing that's exactly what you wanted. Really? You think it was my goal to hurt Trina? Hurt her, embarrass her, one or the other. And what about you? Can you finally see Esme for who she is? Once been say something. How's Trina? Is she okay? No, she's not okay. You saw her, she ran out of the room in tears. She won't even come out of the room. I had to talk to her through the door. The alcohol hit her hard. Oh, the problem was not what was in the mug. Okay, I, I, I just have never seen her drink before, so I thought that might have been it. No, the problem was Esme implying that she had feelings for you. But, which doesn't make sense. It's ancient history. Why would that bother her now? Maybe it never stopped bothering Trina, or maybe she didn't want to bother you two with that. Or maybe Trina's just a drama queen. We had plenty of those in boarding school. I don't school. think that Trina's being a drama queen. Okay, I think that she's legitimately upset. You two must be thrilled. I mean, now you've even got Spence doubting me. All roads lead to Trina. I mean, Trina's got you wrapped around her little finger and you can't even see it. Did you hear her? How she's trying to make this Trina's fault? What is wrong with you? Trina is your friend. She's given you chance after chance. Why can't you call Esme out for the snake she is? I don't know what you want me to say, Joss. Esme's my girlfriend. Back at boarding school, when I thought that my dad was dead, sh she stood by me. When we came to Port Charles, she's repeatedly had my back. She thought that she was gonna be living at Windermere, and then when I told her that I decided that we were gonna be at my grandmother's house, she didn't complain at all. And you and Trina, you've, you've made it well known that you don't like Esme. She doesn't feel accepted by any of my friends. I know that Esme has some kind of hold over you, but you have got to wake up. You've got to wake up and see all of the hurt that she's done. If she's not burning down a car, she's burning down your friendship with Trina. Cameron, what do you think? You've always tried to mediate, try to see Esme's perspective. I can't believe you have to ask me that. I saw how Esme treated Trina. The question is, did you? Perfect.